If I can drag in a, a bit of history of philosophy, screaming by the hair, Kant did something in philosophy, which I think has begun to happen now in science. He challenged a certain view of truth. Before Kant, no philosopher really doubted that truth was simply correspondence to reality. I mean, they're different words. Some philosophers spoke of agreement. But the idea is a mirror theory of knowledge. Today, I think, well, Kant said, it isn't so simple. There's a contribution of the thinking mind. Sure, it isn't made up by the mind. Kant was no idealist. It isn't all a fiction. It isn't something we make up. But it isn't just a copy either. What we call truth depends both on what there is, on the way things are, and on the contribution of the thinker, the mind. I think that today, scientists have come to a somewhat similar view, that is, since the beginning of the 20th century, the idea that there's a human contribution, a mental contribution, to what we call truth. The theories aren't simply dictated to us by the facts, as it were. In other words, we bring a whole number of things to the world that we're not directly conscious of, usually, unless we turn inwards and start examining them. That's right. 